Hey Data Factory fans, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about capturing errors in the sync in your Dataflow ETL jobs. So the feature for error row handling is built in natively to mapping data flows, both in Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Analytics. And so just take a quick look at the screen at the data flow that I have designed on here. Very, very simple data flow with a source, a sync, and an assert for data quality rules. And I have an ex one single expectation set in here. On the sync, you will see a tab here called errors. Now this sync type is a database type. I'm, I'm landing the data into my Azure SQL database data set for DIM products table. So on the errors tab, you'll see both SQL error rows as well as assert failure rows. What that means is that if there is an error when writing a row to the database that the SQL driver produces, that error can be trapped here. And instead of stopping on first error, which is the default setting in ADF, I can set that to continue on error. Additionally, I can also output that error to a different location here I can use my storage accounts. Now what I really wanted to highlight was that if that assert that I have set here, the assert which is called must have color attribute, in the products table, if the row does not have a color attribute, I want that to be marked as an assertion failure, but I want to continue to process my data and I want to have a separate file that contains all the rows that failed that assertion. So to do so, just say, yes, I'll put to sync, that's fine, but also output the error rows to a separate file and then point to a location in your storage account. Now your storage account is set up here in the link service. This is using my blob store and the folder I'm going to put the um, assert failures in is called um, errors. The folder is called errors inside of my container. So let's take a look since we're here in debug mode at the actual rule that is set. So this is a uh, expectation that says that um, the color column was null would be the description, but the actual rule here in the expression is that the color attribute cannot be null. So if that is true, that the color attribute is null, then I want there to say in the message of color column was null, and I want to throw the assert that I'm calling as no color attribute. So what does that look like if we preview this data directly from a data frame? Let's go ahead over to data preview on the assert transformation and click refresh. When the, the data preview refresh comes back, we do see there are some null values for the color attribute and they are marked as assertion failures. And then I do want to show you that also in the data preview for the assertions, you can pick which expectation that you have set based on the assert ID so that you can view those in the data preview pane one at a time. Because in the assert settings, you can have multiple asserts. You can add as many asserts here as you want. Now what happens then in the sync is once we've set this output to sync for the to keep the rows in the sync and then output the failed rows to a separate file. Now we're going to have a essentially an error log of the rows that failed your own defined assertions. When you debug in this mode in design mode and you preview the data, no data is ever written. Uh, it's really just a snapshot of what is in memory and data frames at that time to persist the data. You need to run this from a pipeline. So I just add the data flow onto my pipeline. Debug mode is fine to do testing and to be able to see the output for your uh, assertion failures and for the data itself so that you can test end to end your data flow inside of a pipeline. So let's let this run and then we'll have the data flow process all the rows and then produce an error log file for us based on our assertion failure. Okay, so the run is complete. Now we should be able to go over to the blob store folder and see the file that was produced with the error. So it's this file right here from July 1st, which is today. And if I look at the file, you'll see all the rows that have null for a color attribute. And then in the description column, at the end of each row, you will see the assert ID that I created, which is no color attribute, and the message, the custom message that I created in the assert transformation, which is color column was null. And there you go. That's how you handle errors inside of your Dataflow ETL job in Data Factory and in Synapse Analytics using the errors tab in your sync. Thanks for watching.